So in the last videos, as we built our articles feature, we explored the various components that are exportable by default when you install the features module. Now there's quite a few other things that we can export as well. And over time, the hope is that there will be nothing inside of the database that can't be exported and version controlled. So our next step is going to be installing a feature module that's prepackaged that includes a number of additional configuration items. Among the components that will come bundled with the feature module are some of the types that we've already explored, but they'll also include these. Variables, boxes, which are a type of custom block, views, and we're not going to include content, but we're going to just talk about it briefly here. So each of these are made exportable by a particular module. For variables, for example, we're going to install the strongarm module. For blocks, and by blocks I mean custom blocks, blocks where we create our own content, we're going to use a module called boxes, and the boxes will actually replace our custom blocks. We'll also bundle a view in with this feature module, and the views module actually makes its own content exportable. And while we won't be including content like users, nodes, and taxonomy terms here, there is some good work being done on the UUID features integration module, which integrates with the UUID module in order to provide unique identifiers for all of the pieces of content so that they can be exported and version controlled and shared between different environments. Also, there are other modules out there that include specific types of configuration that are also exportable, and a lot of modules take care of making their own content exportable and available to the features module. So while we won't be covering a whole lot of new ground in this process, let's go ahead and enable this richer feature module in our site. So first of all, go ahead and navigate to your resource pack and copy the example blog feature and then jump over to your development site and paste it in the sites all modules features folder. Now jump back to your website and go ahead and go to the features listings page. Okay, now we have a second feature listed here. Now the checkbox to enable it is disabled because there's a set of unmet dependencies. So in order to install this feature, we need to first download all of these modules. So I'm gonna go ahead and download these modules off screen, but if you're following along, you'll need to download boxes, context, path auto, strong arm, token, and views. And although it's not listed here, we're also going to install the C tools module or chaos tools module. So I'm gonna go off screen for a moment to download these and I'll come back when I've got these in my modules folder. Okay, I'm back and here's my local development site. And under contrib, we now have boxes, context, C tools, path auto, strong arm, token and views. Okay, I'm gonna jump back to my site and refresh the features listing page. All right, now that we have all of our dependencies met, we can enable this feature. Now, I haven't actually installed these modules. By installing this module, we'll go ahead and enable any modules that it needs in order to run. I'm gonna click Save Settings. Okay, now that it's installed, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the components that got installed with it. So all of the items are here on the right, and notice we have quite a bit going on here. We have a block, we have a context, we have fields, text format, menus, menu links, and so on. So if you imagine how long it would take you to manually create a new content type, add fields to it, add a new text format, add a menu, add menu items, add a new vocabulary, and a new role, as well as a new view and a block, it would take a really long time. So this was a shortcut to creating all of those features without really lifting a finger. Now if we go to our home page, we can see its effects. We now have a blog tab here, which is part of the menu. And when we go to the blog, we see a block on the right hand side that says about our blog, which was the block that we added. And as we add blog items, they'll be listed here as part of this view. So again, not only did we save a whole lot of time by deploying this as a feature, but we also have a backup of all of the settings. So if someone makes a change to the settings, we can compare it with our current revision to see if they're a purposeful change or if there's something that needs to be reverted back. 